I have a recurring nightmare that my mum keeps sucking me off on a bed of rats. <laughs> Granddad's still alive! Why was this spunk on a rug? Uh, 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 40 pounds. Uh, uh. You could stop a murder by donating your ass. What's the most extravagant meal you've had, Jamie? Or the most pigeon and chips, probably. Pigeon and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Two days ago. That's up there. I'll tell you at the <laughs> <Batman> Rovers. <laughs> Yes, come on. It's summer. Father's Day is fast approaching, Tony. Do you know what that means? You've got to get your dad something nice. And this year, I think you should go a little bit different. Don't get just a generic bottle or, you know, a bit of aftershave or watch. It's just hacking it. It is, yes, Jamie. It's 2023. And do you know what's big in 2023? Male, male grooming, Tony. So I'm glad this episode is brought to you by the world leaders in Below the Belt Male Grooming <laughs> Manscaped. And they've released... Their uh, performance package 4.0, the perfect present for your dad on Father's Day. Let him get absolutely pristine, because like it or not, your mum is sucking your dad off. Your mum, your mum, or stepmum, is sucking your dad off. Now, do you want your mum to have pubes in her mouth? No. Do you want your mum to have smeg in her teeth? No. You don't. Lawnmower 4.0, manscaped.com. And... Because they're such great supporters of the podcast at Manscaped, they're giving us 20% off and free shipping to you lucky listeners. So you go to manscaped.com and in the promo code, it's Green Room for 20% off, free shipping, and get your dad a five day present you'll never forget. Yes, the boys! We are proudly brought to you today by Manscaped, the world leaders in male grooming. Tony, it is important to give your balls, that extra bit of TLC, okay? It sure is, Jamie. Your initials, TLC, Tender Love and Care Tony Carroll. <laughs> That's what they call him, mate. And part of his reason is because his bollocks smell pristine. I don't know what you're thinking, like, oh, it's me balls, it's, you know, do I do all that? You need to be grooming your balls, lads, yeah? So, with Manscaped, if you go on manscaped.com, the link's there for you. The link is there for you, and you type in... Green Room, as your discount code, you get 20% off and free shipping. You get all this stuff. I've brought this out especially, the ball deodorant. You need your balls to be smelling nice. Like, Our ah, days graft, you think you're getting a soap? Nah, mate. It could be the perfect gift. Father's Day. Look, it's Father's Day. I hate to break it to you. Your mummy sucking cock. Do you want your mum to have smeg in her mouth? Oh, no. So get your dad manscaped. <laughs> code. Green room, 20% off. See you on the other side. Give your mum a little wink. And Balls say, ahoy. <laughs> Balls ahoy. Hi, guys. Welcome to Hot Water Green Room Podcast. Just want to let you know, we have a seven-day free trial period for the Patreon episodes. There's over 50 episodes over on Patreon.com. And also, there's live shows that are on there too. Absolutely, Jamie. mate. So, get over to Patreon.com slash Hot Water's Green Room. Try before you buy. Dip your toe in paradise before you have a nice swim in us. The tiers start from £3 a month, and we've got a £5 tier and a £10 tier for extra perks. We want to see you there, because that is where the magic happens. Let's get into the episode. Get to the cash machine. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hot Water Screen Room Podcast with me, Tony Carroll. Yes. Back. Jamie H. Again. Today, Jamie, we've got a special guest. Very special guest. The orator. Is that the right word? Yes, but an an accurate word. Of my... One of my favourite ever stand-up bits. Which I've not told you. But it's one of my favourite ever stand-up bits. Mark Jennings. Hello, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for having me, guys. It's all right. Uh, Running late. I was running late. I was running late too. You're, you're always late and you live here. <laughs> yeah, no, but Mark's the only one on time and he's come from fucking the Highlands. Guys, <laughs> 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 go to the Highlands. Good. Let's go. Um, yeah, trains are a joke, mate. Uh, two cancelled in a row, right? Yeah. Then this, got on this, yeah. So I'm finally waiting for the third train. Two Liverpool trains cancelled. It's fucking Bedlam. Platform 14. It's a nightmare platform anyway. Do you go up them escalators yeah. and that? Um, Barrow in Furnace train. Who goes to Barrow in Furnace? No one, exactly. Oh. Shithole. Sorry. Um, and it just stops to just say, oh yeah, this platform's fucked by the way. 
So, and with a minute to go, they go, oh, Liverpool's 13B now. So I had fucking hundreds of people stampeding. Finally, to run to the door. Oh, mate, it's just a fucking joke, mate. Um, the train's in this country. And I've had a bad night. I had a nightmare last night. What happened? I have a recurring nightmare that my mum keeps sucking me off on a bed of rats. Right, okay. Well, nightmare is a you know subjective term, I suppose. Some people would <laughs> yeah, see dream, that as a dream come true. <laughs> a, a premonition. <laughs> Keep having these like just it's fucked up diet. Diet rats on my back. I mean, mum trying yeah, to. Yeah, what about your mum sucking you off? Oh, my mum trying That's to. That's the worst thing. My mum trying rats. to. My <laughs> There's a lot going on in that dream. Yeah. I just keep dreaming of rats and stuff, man. He's more asked about the rats on his back. There's one time. No, to I, well, try, I'm saying no. No, no. <laughs> 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 to the rats or to you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any bad nightmares? Not Me- as bad as that. For <laughs> Is this so recurring that you spoke about it in the podcast before? I don't know. I don't think so. It just flashes. We've spoken about that before, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's just fever dreams, I think. Yeah. Do you yeah. have any recurring nightmares? I can't, I can't even, like, think of any, but I think that the main one that happens is, like, you know that way when you are about to die in a dream, and then you and wake, you wake up? up, yeah. Because did you see that in school, that if you if you died in a dream, oh, you'd yeah. die in real life? Yeah, yeah, and if you dream of your mum sucking off in a bed of rats, you fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like that old fucking... Oh, you wake up and it's happening. Speaking of coming back to life, who's kept up to date with the Ecuador news? <laughs> Hey. Oh, the Ecuador news. The Ecuador news. Get on this then, right? This woman, 75 years old, in Ecuador, dead. Cardiac arrest. Done. Yeah. Time of death, blah, blah, blah. Um, and she goes, they go into the wake, do you know what I mean? They got like the uh, South American way. Yeah. It's like, it's not like two weeks here, do you know what I mean? Getting death certificates and all that. It's fucking, there you go, in and out job. Just eating the old. Yeah, there's your wake, there's your wake, there's your coffin. Yeah, fuck Off your pop, yeah. Yeah. Imagine this, yeah, so it's at the wake, and all the fam there fucking kind of eyes out, oh, when we getting in the will, all this stuff. <laughs> Still alive. Knocks on the coffin. Knocks on the coffin, <sighs> yeah. Oh, mad's oh, that. Horrible, so what had happened is, they've got fucking Dr. Magoo there, aren't they? Dr. McGoo. <laughs> he said she's fucked. We went, yeah, she's probably dead. Fuck it. What's happened is she had a hard cardiac, hard, uh, cardiac arrest. Yeah. Right. And that's triggered something in the brain to go, fucking stay still. Shh, stay still. Doctor's gone, yeah, she's dead. Then she's gone in the coffin, come back around, woke up, kids there. Fucking mad, done it. That's fucked up, though. That's yeah. sick, that. That's, that's why it's called the wake, though, isn't it? <laughs> no, it is. That's why it's called the wake. Because they were so bad at diagnosing death back in the day, they would have a wake, like, for seven days in case you woke up. Oh. That's, that's why it's not that easy. It is. No, no chance. It is. No, it is not. I believe that. No, I'm not believing Ben. I want to believe Ben's <laughs> over you, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the people who get burnt. Yeah, cremating, cremating's very final, isn't it? That's like yeah. saying, like, I am definitely Imagine 100% Imagine you live right. and you just got thrown in the oven. There's part of you that thinks that's why I don't want to get cremated, just in case, just in case. I could ever come back. Yeah, but imagine being buried, and you'd ride down there, and then you wake up. That'd be worse. And you're like, fuck. Well, yeah, ben, they used to get buried, buried with bells. Like, so there'd be bells on the graves, so that you could pull the bell if... You were buried alive. Why do you know so much about graves? Do you not have a hobby? You can, you can do that with bells now, but it needs to be like a ring doorbell so you can actually watch. <laughs> see if their eyes open or anything like that. Well, you're buried alive, you see, is at the door first before you even say hello. <laughs> Granddad's still alive! Fucking you know get this do? Mean, you should just run around graveyards with bells just ringing them. I love graves. Send people man. west. I love graves. I, hate them, I, don't like I love seeing a gravestone and then try and imagine what they died of. Do you know what I mean? Just right. playing it out. What did he get up to in seventy? Oh, so you read the name and the age of the yeah, dad, and then start yeah. thinking like, "Oh, what would the what his life panned out like?" Yeah, because it's the the you need to get more hobbies. The church um, near me, they don't have they don't bury people there anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. full fuck off. So it's full up. fuck off. <laughs> 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 it's overgrown and all that. So there's still some graves gravestones knocking about, but they're all like 1700s and 1800s and that. I thought I thought after a hundred years to get fucking to get la- you get lashed. Fuck off. Well, you get, but, but, did it, 
fucking dig you up and yeah jump I you. think so yeah because no. oh. well, think about it how many people he is yeah they all can't fit in these fucking little graveyards you know after a hundred years I think you get is that right Binti well, I don't know too. everything about being buried don't it turn to <laughs> just the cool bits I I'm sure after a hundred years no. because you've got no you've got no family left then so family can't come and see you yeah, very specific graves I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Sounds like a Protestant thing at the very least, right? I don't know. What, I don't know what they're doing <laughs> now. But going on ancestry. dot com. <laughs> I went to Highgate Cemetery in London a wee while ago. Right? Oh, that's where Karl Marx. Is. Gr- that's where the thing happened, isn't it? The vampire thing. What? What was that? Oh, uh, what is it now? Some fucking guy thinking that made out there was vampires coming back to life, and um, they robbed corpses. It was all a big hoax. They went, yeah, fucking vampires out here, lad. So we'll sort it for you. Oh, so they just watched us all done. No, they paid these lads to, like, say, yeah, you protect the grave. And that, something like that. What happened? It's basically the the, um, the the synopsis of Brothers Grimm movie, I think. That. <laughs> <laughs> was Heath Ledger there as well, mate? <laughs> oh, <Ledger> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something yeah. dead famous happened there. The only thing I know about it is I went there and I went to see Karl Marx's grave and when I walked in, they said, you need to pay. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me on? It's maybe a f- fucking cunt. It's really a gift co- shop. Aye, <laughs> aye. You can buy Fuck we, off. You can buy wee Karl Marx dolls and all that shit. And I'm like, this is really it's capitalism. Up, that. Were you turning against capitalism as well? Was that? It was he against capitalism, yeah. Famously. Right. Because <laughs> I, know, I know he had something to do with capitalism, but I don't know if he's for it or against Like Kenny Miller, because he played for both. He played for both. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, a, he was very much a one club man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Ryan Giggs, he's okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, posthumously, then, that is... Um, that's a bit of a tarnish to your legacy, isn't it? Yeah, sure he's probably is. just trying to earn enough money to renew his hundred year lease on his grave. Oh, that's like Barry and Binnington and getting Chris Cairns memorabilia at his grave. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even do Pro Evo anymore, do we? <laughs> no, no. Chris Brains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you know what you were saying before about your nightmares then? I, yeah. I haven't had a dream for years, you know. You haven't had a dream for years? Oh. Huh? Really? Yeah. You will have. You're not supposed to remember your dreams. I feel, Are you? I no, feel most people. It's weirder to remember your dreams, apparently. But you need uh, to dream to live. Yeah, I, <laughs> it, it, it got so weird called some. I think therefore I am. What's I'm not even going to pretend that was the correct pronunciation that of that it. Latin. I mean, oh, you Jamie, even doing Latin, Latin, Jamie? Latin is, well. I believe it's cogito. Cogito ergo sum. Told you, mate. <laughs> Latin lad. Latin it's Latin. 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 <laughs> There's rats in me mum's trying to suck me off. <laughs> I'll tell you, Labore. <laughs> Blackburn Rovers. <laughs> I bet you wish you couldn't fucking remember your dreams for fuck's sake. Oh, yeah. your dream the last dreams I used to have was recurring as well. Was it? But about, I'd say about four or five years ago. What was Every it? Every day. I used to rob a bank. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> He was a team of us, it wasn't just me, you know what I mean? Right. Who was in your team? Oh, I can't remember who it was, but they were, they were really solid team. Like. <laughs> and, uh, like because of Tony's <laughs> 11. Yeah, Tony's 11, yeah. We used to get away with it every time as well, you know, so it was obviously a good team. Mm-hmm. And I remember, I remember going to bed that night and putting a big bag of money under my pillow. Uh, when I wake up, actually wake up in real life. Just a big bag of teeth. <laughs> I'd look under my pillow and it's just a big bag of crisp. <laughs> No money. No I money. had a dream the other night. Oh, I'm a nightmare this week. I'll tell you that in a minute. I dreamed the other night, right? Um, I was having a shit in a disabled toilet by a pool. Is this a dream or real? Really? Dream. Yeah. Confirmed. Um, and I noticed I dropped 40 quid near the door. Yeah. I'm like, oh, fucking hell. And then, <laughs> you know, we make feet on the big bumbling yeah. fucking mong. Um, <laughs> he comes in and I can, I can hear the door going, like some of the keys. I'm too far away. It's like an anxiety dream. It's, like it's out of reach. People are going to see me poo. And the, the door goes and Fionn pops his head around. He goes, uh, 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 oh, 40 pounds. Uh, uh, and just does his mumbling. Yeah. Takes 40 pounds. He goes, I'm going to put it on an horse. But you knew the horse wasn't going to win. But yeah, you know that. Yeah, and yeah. I, but it's just that anxiety of this is out of reach, this door. Maybe that's, maybe that's why Gabrielle wrote that song, Out of Reach. Could have been that. Do you know what? That's full circle. That's my mum's funeral song. Gabriel. Yeah. Out of reach. Yeah. Good tune, though. It is a good tune. I'm mad to have a bow. What would your funeral song be, Jamie? 
Oh, fucking hell. That was a good one. Hello by Oasis. Because I'm saying goodbye. What about yours? Well, do you know, see, my ma passed away two years ago, right? And we wanted a song at the funeral. And because it, ca- like, it was a Catholic mass we got, and they, we had a big argument with the priest. He wouldn't let us play a non-religious song. Oh, in the chapel, I had this big fucking argument with him. I couldn't believe it, right? And then uh, I was just like, can we not just do it? And I was like trying to kind of, first I was like kind of getting angry with him and like just being like, this yeah. is ridiculous. And I thought maybe I'll try and like be like, oh, well, I'm sure we can make it worth your while and all this shit. I, like, try to, bar- try to bribe him. Try to bribe him, basically. Like, <laughs> went through the fucking seven stages of grief with him on the go, like, bargaining. <laughs> and then I was like, I just couldn't believe that he fucking... And then the problem was, though, because I was an altar boy at that chapel growing up and stuff, but he was, like, a new priest, so I couldn't even try and, like, falsely accuse him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blackmail? <laughs> <laughs> Bribery, blackmail, what else? Uh, no, he wasn't shifting for anything. But I think, to me, it felt like a choice, because we were like, I'm sure people have had... Uh, normal songs for weddings and that so I think he was just kind of trying to use his wee bit of power over us because we didn't go to mass yeah, and all yeah. this sort of shit but it was unbelievable that's mad isn't it yeah. Tony does that though what does is to try and get the karaoke again yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 only religious songs again. Yeah, John look the envelope there <laughs> <laughs> let, let me do two in a row <laughs> <laughs> see the out of reach stuff though because that, that I would say that's the recurring theme of all my dreams usually it's I'm trying to go somewhere and it's I'm sort of stopping you. The whole thing, it's just miles away. I never get to where I'm meant it's to go. It's always a metaphor, isn't it? Do you think it's a metaphor for like something you want to aspire to? What is that 40 quid? <laughs> <laughs> Symbolise. No, no, mine is literally, I mean, I want me 40 quid on the <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't. I don't have the capability to dream in metaphor. <laughs> I'm very what literal. Was, what would yours be with the rats in your mum? Well, you listen, it's Garton, baby. <laughs> <You> call me. <laughs> you know, be digging up a few fucking psychologists for Highgate Cemetery to get the bottom of that. Well, I, 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 I watched an horrible documentary last night about um, that fella, Joe fucking John. Um, oh yeah, John. Yeah, John. Summit, yeah. Get on this, John. Right, he fucking killed two people in 1987. Mm-hmm. Like fucking, hell, I've got a serial killer on the loose here, and everything goes quiet. 1989, everything goes like just fucking. No more, John's not been backing out. DNA was in its infancy, they couldn't find anything that. Then, obviously, you never shot a murder case. Never shot a murder never. case. Never? No. Um, well, well, back in the day, like, Jack the Ripper's probably shot. But, yo, know, modern ones. You mean if it's, un- unless it's solved? Yeah, unless it's solved. Because, <laughs> of, <laughs> because of DNA. Because of DNA. Yeah. Um, anyway, they found some spunk on a rug. So they're like... Uh, fucking hell, got some spunk on a rug here. <laughs> do something like that. So they find it, no matches, is there? And then a few years go by, I go, fucking hell, just thinking, not spunk on a rug. Should we test it again? Test it again. Because now they can do relatives, do you know what I mean? Go, ah. we can build a DNA profile. Let's go, right, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we can find people who he's related to. Fuck so they found right. someone like, you know, dead close match, went, that indicates it's his brother. So they go to that fella's relatives, go, right, your brother lived in the town where these murders happened. <laughs> Fucking jackpot, there you go, arrested, right? So they get him for these two unsolved murders from 1987. 33 years on the longest period of time ever between crime and catch, yeah? yeah? They go into his house, doing a search, they find fucking hard drives, videos of him shagging corpses. Oh, God. So he, he was an electrician in an hospital and he had access all over and he was just shagging these corpses, lad. And he went, that's why he didn't kill her again because he had the fantasy was to f- shag dead things. Why was he spunk on a rug? What? Leak. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think watching that triggered your... Um, it, it's like it's it's the, one of the most depraved things I've ever heard in my life. It's so bad. Yeah, this is fucked up. Oh, so, so I went round my grands for a brew before, so I was telling her all about it. And she went, "Tell your grand that story." <laughs> so what, what, what have you been up to? When let me tell you about the spunk on a rug with my mate John. Um, and she said, "Oh, I don't like any of that, me." <laughs> that's, when, that's why I'm donating my body to medical science. <laughs> 
Oh, well, maybe by that time they will. That's what they'll use it for to stop people. Well, it's an idea, isn't it? Which is? You could stop a murder by donating your ass. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> like say, you. say if there's a mad murder, a rapist, and you just go like, you can donate your body to get the fix of this man. No. Oh. Would you want to do that? No. You'd save a life. It's your corpse, you're not doing anything with it. Yeah, because you fucking be dead ass, isn't he? Yeah, why do I? Are you ass, you dead. It's like an organ donor scheme type of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I just can't, I can't, I can't, like. I'd be well up for that, man. Imagine, though, like, doing that in 1987, right? Because you'd never <laughs> imagine. <laughs> you'd never imagine that science would progress so much that you could ever be caught. At that time, because you, oh, you watch those Ted Bundy things, not, and they never had DNA then, and it was so much. Well, it's so easier to do all that shit. Yeah. Oh, it's great on the documentary. Um, they have the body cam footage, of, and he just starts like, oh, "I have been waiting for this day." Uh-huh. He's just so accepting. It really? Like, yeah. Well, if you're filming it and shit, you're yeah. probably wanting caught in some. It's probably, and he was offended three days up until he was caught. Yeah. So like from 1989 to 2020. Just Banging corpses, lad. Do you know, right, so we got two life sentences. This was mad. Mm-hmm. Got two life sentences for the murders. And then they they got all the evidence again for shagging corpses. They went. So he's at, he's got his sixties. He's got two life sentences. They give him four years for shagging corpses. Over hundred corpses he shagged. Why did he give him four years for that? I know it's mad, isn't it? You think that's another life sentence, wouldn't you? Good behaviour to get out after two. <laughs> <laughs> Depends oh. for the other charges get dropped, I suppose, with that hundred year sentence or whatever. But no, fuck yeah. me, man. So that's just think he doesn't need a grave, does he? Why? Because when he dies, it'll be a hundred years. And he'll have no family, so he's not he's just lashing. Oh, he had family, man. He was a family man. Yeah, I'm saying, but I mean, no, he's no. not. He's yeah, but what if his kids have kids? Not lineage. Yeah, but that's why it's a hundred years because they're dead as well. Everyone's dead. No, cause your family line. Everyone why are we dies. here then? Everyone dies. Yeah, no, but we're alive <laughs> from 100 years ago. No, but 100 years after you die, you've got no one's ass to buy. Let, let, let's not go, yeah, let's go and see great, great granddad Jamie. How far back do we go? Who's going to say that, lad? No one. My no great. one cares. Oh, I'm not having kids. The fucking shit. We've left our stain in this world, mate, me and you. We've got, we've got we'll online content. We'll never die. We'll never, we'll I, never think, die. I think in the future. Archaeologists will be replaced by electrical archaeologists. So instead of digging up for bones, they'll just dig for SD cards. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true. Like, things might even get lost on the internet and shit, but there'll be ways to be able to find old shit that was taken. Oh. That way back machine or whatever that people go back. Imagine a hundred years and people start watching this from the start. That I've started watching the history of Rome with Mary Baird. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Mary Bear, the onto her. No. She's fucking mint, man. She's so fucking cool. She's like 60 odd. She's like, yo, she looks like she was a shagger in the 60s and 70s. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like proper fucking. She's getting some cum on some rugs. Yeah, oh, she was fucking <laughs> rolling around in rug, like a rugging cum. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's like historian and that. Oh, she's only just done documentaries, isn't she? Yeah, she's so, so good. good, man. Um, I fall asleep to her. Can't sleep without her now. Me and Beardy. That's Wait. what's getting me through the heat wave. Sleeping in this, mate. I have to put a flannel on my head and fucking Mary Beard. I don't think it's been that bad, me. Oh, no, I've been terrible. You need to put a flannel on your head. Oh, yeah. Wet flannel. Fucking bollocko. Mary Beard on. <laughs> Watch some horrific documentaries. That's how I get through the heat. My fans broke, so. Oh, your fans broke. Yeah, I've only got a little one. Oh, I had a nightmare, by the way. Speaking of the police. Um, <laughs> I had a shambles last time we recorded. You know what happened? What? Well, my brother's had the ball. So I have to do his car insurance for him and that. Because uh-huh. he do not fucking know anything. Um, I do his car insurance every year. So his renewal went sky high this year. So I'll shop around. Fuck it. Um, got me cheap one, and what they've done is they pre-populated a quote I did from like three years ago. 
So did your information all correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've accidentally insured his old car. Right. So Daniel got Daniel's driving to his birds got pulled up by the police. He doesn't know anything, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh the police are like, oh, you driving out of insurance and he, he went, You're gonna have to, you know, step out of the car and he went, I'm autistic, I'm going with my girlfriends. So he's arguing with the police roadside. Police, by the way, fucking PC gobshite, you little knobhead. Put my brother in the back of a police car. He's like pleading with him. I'm autistic. I'm autistic. And just threw him at a bus stop and a bus fare. Did he? <laughs> yeah. I took the car off him. Yeah. That's a walk home from Denton Golf Club. <laughs> it's bad. It's funny. Uh, and it's all my mistake. Yeah, man. And fucking shambles. That's tough. Did you want? Did you want to kick off on you? Oh, lad. I didn't go home. I stayed here till closing. I didn't want to go home. <laughs> so I just got pissed there. Fucking hell. I know, I got pissed here so I'd be home shouting at me. That's bad. If he was relying on you as well. I know, it's There's fucking... There's no two ways about that, I was it? like that in the morning, fuck's sake, lad. Um, and then I had to go to the f- police station Saturday morning and do all the farms and all this bollocks. Has your car back now? Got his car back now, yeah. I, I've, got a reg- I, I've got to represent him in court. Why are you going to call for? Because he's got, he's got like six, he's getting six points, but there's... We're going to say it's mitigating circumstances and argue it, do you know what I mean? Ah, uh, yeah. But I've got a representative. I'll yeah. six that. So are you going to, are you going to start watching like... Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to proper like, who are mongers? Who are mongers? I'm going to go proper fucking lawyer mode, mate. I'm going to be like that cunt in making a murder. Oh, yeah, he's good, isn't he? Oh, what about Suits? Have you seen Suits? Suits is good. Suits, suits is good. No, I've not oh, seen it actually. Suits is classic. Meghan you, Markle. Are you, are, you, are, you, are you a big TV man? I don't watch that much shit anymore, really. Jeez. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like Succession. It's about it. <sighs> so I've watched, I watched the, uh, what was that? The White Lotus as well. That was about it. What are these fucking HBO shit? Oh, I love all of me. Uh, it's good. Have you seen White Lotus? No. No? It's good. Yeah, I'm all like, yeah, I like it. Uh, what have I been watching? I've been watching something called Kin lately. That was like Irish gangland drama. All right. That's good. Because I miss Dylan. Rest <laughs> uh, <laughs> in peace. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, so I just thought, I, I pretty much watch, just watch YouTube now. I think everyone's like that, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's watching that. I just like watching. Just this particular YouTube channel. It's all I watch. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, like yeah. watching fellas make huts in, in the woods. <laughs> oh, I've been, I was on a. Um, Twitter fucking rabbit hole of fights, still like fights in the public. Oh yeah, <laughs> she just fights. lose her head. <laughs> <laughs> fucking start scrapping over nothing. I feel you like when YouTube it. first started, that was the main thing. It was, was wasn't it? it? When it was like, there was one called bum fights. Remember bum Aye. fights? That was like smackheads fighting each other. There was a guy called Kimbo Slice who was a oh, MMA fighter, yeah, and he yeah, was like, Kimbo he had loads of air fights in back gardens and all that shit. World star. World star, <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah. Someone just smack someone and go, world star. Yeah, some woman was trying to break into an house by putting her hand through a box and do the key. This guy just comes over with shit, he goes, fuck off. Oh, Matt. <laughs> People, <laughs> People are fucked, yeah, they are. So funny. <laughs> People are starting having like jewels now. Jewels? Have you seen this? What we like swords and like shit? chaff chaff jousting. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen it? Which did you just say? Chav jousting. Oh yeah. It's like like it fucking, samurai swords or something. Yeah, just like fucking you meet up for a level, you know, fucking straightener or yeah. whatever. And, and then, then you put and the just on. have a fucking machete you know, like Nah, Fencing, can't. not jousting. There's no horses. Is that the one with the poles on the horses? Yeah. yeah. Like the ones you watch your life of and Colum Who? Have you ever been Colum No. Or like, what's the, what's the amusement park called? What do you do? Camelot. Camelot, that's it. Camelot, don't they do the lottery? I know there's Yeah, a, they, also do, they, they also do they also do jousting. <laughs> jousting and Which? medieval events. Camelot. Yeah, Camelot. Aye, nah, that was good, that one. Yeah. I actually seen jousting there when I was I when I went when I was a kid. We went and seen the jousting. It was fucking bossing It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It's a good sport, though. but it's, I like it's getting grassroots level now. Do you know what I mean? Like the open mic circuit of jousting, yeah, like street jousting for too long. Just, just, just riding on trolleys, yeah. glasses, and yeah, above. Yeah. <laughs> so what's Ian White's gonna take it over soon? Yeah, and then you should have Chav Polo, like uh, trying to get a ball in and out on a quad bike. 
That's pretty, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Just chav up these <clears throat> medieval games. Jody should bring back what? to Keshi's castle. Oh, yeah. Poor in Liverpool. <laughs> do, you know, do, you, do you know more people went to the moon than completed to Keshi's castle? <laughs> no. Yeah, no way. That's a real fact. More people managed to make it to the moon than to the top of Takeshi's castle. How many finished Takeshi's castle? I think like two people two ever people. did it. That was it. It's like the hardest assault course ever. And one of them was Buzz Aldrin. He's <laughs> <Yeah. he's been laughs> <both. laughs> did, did you know um, Takeshi's castle's made of cheese? It's <laughs> <laughs> filled in Area 51, Takeshi's castle. <laughs> Imagine a Liverpool version, like Lusion Park or something. Be good, wouldn't it? Do you reckon? Yeah, and I'll be the chief. And I said that like trying to like you know like when they had the guns and they tried to you know like the circles they had to get through them. You just throw bricks at people. <laughs> it's the it's a little conscious. <laughs> Stuck your <old> bricks. <coughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So what 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 other TV shows did you make, Scouse? Oh, Golden Balls. Oh, that would kick off, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, to be murder. Do you mean steel? It would just be steel just or be steel. steel. Yeah. yeah, it would just be steel. <laughs> yeah. No need for that one. Uh, <laughs> Stealing, lad. I couldn't say that. Golden you Balls was boss, wasn't it? You just don't not feel confident if you say that. To the, oh, no, I can't. To the scousers, no. even though they've embraced no, the, you as I You'll get abuse, Well, me. that's what I mean. They've embraced some of and then they start doing stereotypes. So. They'll know, like, yeah, I've not, not, not owned the word yet. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's it. I'm like that girl who, you know, dresses up as black. Why are you always a girl? <laughs> Not all that girl who dressed up as black. She tried to get skin graft to make her black, didn't she? Did she? She's white, she identifies as black. Oh, right. It's like her saying the end bomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is mean. you making jokes about Liverpool yeah, people so stealing? I mean, I've not I've not <laughs> owned the steel in self deprecation yet. Right. So I think I navigated that, aren't I? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking stains again. What does this one taste like? <laughs> oh god <laughs> Come on rug It tastes like rug <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I'm on stage as well <laughs> so what, 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 What's been your favourite game show then? Game show? I do like Pointless I no. do like Oh yeah I do like that you know I, I, I just can't stand Alexander Armstrong mate Which one's that one? Big A is related to Is related to like some famous king or something Ah, uh, he's like landed gentry. Is he the host? Is he or the fellow the glasses in the background? No, oh, Richard Osman's sound. Yeah, he's all right too. Richard Osman invented Dion Odin. I hate that prick. You know, did the the the, uh, the fellow on um, what game shows on ITV? Did the uh, the dwarf fella? Oh, Warwick Davis. He's a tit, him. You know, proper tit. <laughs> Why do you not like him? I just don't. He's just like <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite questions on Terrible Ever was about fucking broccoli or something, man. So they said, name 10 things you find in Iceland and just give him loads of fucking... In Iceland? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like frozen foods yeah. that you'll get in Iceland. But then list loads of different fucking, what's the word? Catchments or something. What's that word I'm thinking of? What's that word? Categories. No. Like, catchments. Like, you can't have this, like, exclusions sort of thing. Begins with a C. Constraints? No, no, fuck off, been nailed. I don't know. No one, has, you just keep saying cashments. <laughs> no one understands what you mean, mate. You know what I mean. Someone will correct me in the comments. Um, so go on then. Yeah, but it's just. Oh, let me find it. I need to find. But it just goes on and on for ages. <laughs> I love fucking um, quiz show compilations, man. Joe of like people fucking up. I've seen them. Do I tell you what I should do? <laughs> seen them on Tenable. Where they go? What date's Christmas day? And the old fella just goes, Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, oh. oh, that's amazing. Did I tell you what I used to do? Oh, do, you know, do you know um, the Crystal Maze? Uh-huh. I used to watch old episodes of that, right? On, um, what was it called? Challenge. Aye. Oh, Challenge was sick. And then you know, they'd come up with the full names on, on Crystal Maze. So you should type them on Facebook, find the people. <laughs> He'd been on it. And then message them, saying, ah, you got locked in, you'd sit. 
<laughs> he's too all the time. <laughs> Imagine that, like ha- that haunting you years later. It's not even on the actual program. Yeah. It's on channel. All these like old people because like twenty years old. You know, <laughs> like, you're not locked in. You'd sit. <laughs> Have you found this, Jamie? This is the question they ask on a game show, right? right. Bear in, we're looking for the ten vegetables that come after broccoli alphabetically, which are sold separately at Iceland as part of their own brand range. This list is based on the following search on the Iceland.co.uk website. First under frozen, then under vegetables and rice. Fa- then, finally then under vegetables. We're not including vegetables on any other pages of this website. There are no potato products on our list. <laughs> this is according to Iceland.co.uk. All that for a fucking question. I'm still trying to figure out what the word beginning with C was that you're fucking talking oh, about. Constraints? No, all sorts of catchments. You can't just say catchments, catchments. over and over oh, again. My is God. the word catchments? No, it's um, <laughs> so, so conditions. Of, Conditions, yeah, something like that, yeah. Oh, I wish I had a synonym book. For thesaurus. <laughs> Do you know what? There's no other word for thesaurus. Synonym book. That's two words. Marketing. <laughs> Cinem- cinemologist. <laughs> Cinemapedia. So basically, you can do potatoes. <laughs> I'm a synonymopedia. <laughs> You're sounding drunker and drunker <laughs> as this sentence goes on. <laughs> it's because I'm not drunk. So no, 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 no. In two days. No, 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 no. I got more piss when I've had two days fresh. <laughs> God, so so what's up. in that water bottle, mate? I need to sober up, mate. Did um, you ever hear that story about the navy? You used to so you used to get rations of rum, but on your birthday, everyone would give you their ration of rum. And then the person would uh, do all them shots and have a great night. I'll and then sexual favors. The rest of well, no. And then so they banned. Like Davey, I so they banned it. <laughs> they banned it in the end because what would happen is the rum would crystallize in your stomach, and then the next day you'd have some water. It would all dissolve, and you'd die. <laughs> Instant alcohol poisoning, death. Really? Yeah. 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 People died, so you had to ban it. Fuck! What a way to go, though. Tune in next week for more death-related facts with Binti. You, you know what I mean? Like you had a birthday party. Where everyone just got you a drink and just watched you get bothered. Oh, if everyone got you a bag and you just stayed at home and snorted it yourself, <laughs> got yourself to sleep. Yeah, you could do that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Definitely. Ways of having a good night. I think, I think the next guest should actually just be a therapist, you know. Well, oh, Jamie, to be honest, I have been quite concerned about you, and I am. Part of the reason I was wanting to check in. I uh, fancy my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Done your job. There you go. <laughs> Who doesn't, mate? <laughs> hey, very fancy, man. Well, yeah, you always want what, what that you can't have. If Freud did not interpret way. that for your dreams, man, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> would you go to therapy? Do you know, I would be open to it, but yeah, I just I, think... Because I think, what if they cure you and you're just not funny anymore? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, man. I don't think I'm that fucked up. I'm into self-help, so I like trying to do it to myself. So oh, I think, see, thing, do you know? I just like reading all the books. These mad pop psychology shit, and all that. Oh, so yeah. try and set goals and. Do you, ever, do, you ever, do you ever get worried about that? Like thinking if if it, like sort of shit out, it wouldn't be funny anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny it must be hard for you because, like, because you. Like now, people you've gained a lot of popularity through these stories of like fucking hangs up and being fucked up. Do you feel pressure to keep oh, no, doing no. hangs? There's enough in the vault. Not even mm. scratch the surface. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till the dark stuff comes. <laughs> I listened to a self-help uh, guru the other day. Oh, I play his video um, on here. Andrew Tate, was it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that the Hustlers University? <laughs> <laughs> Better than that. Oh, this is it, right? This is so funny. Do you all like these 5 a.m. cunts? Aye. Jay Comfrey. Grindset. Jay Comfrey and all that. Yeah. Listen to this one. This is Dean Windass, ex Bradford City footballer. Thick as pig shit. It's your bed, mate, and there's your pillars on top. Just get out of bed, make your bed, put your pillars on top. <laughs> it's your bed, med. It's your pillars on top. I got me out the day. These are fucking bad, these people are, they? Oh, have you seen that Jay Comfrey compilation? 
No, oh. I've no. I, I oh. didn't understand why people hated him so much. Cause oh. I just knew him as a kind of BT sport guy, but is it because of that podcast oh. he does? Yeah, he's just a partridge. Uh, he's he? just a smug cunt, mate. So funny. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. No. Oh, you know who he is yeah I know he is yeah yeah he's just like cringeworthy things you know what I mean like he was advertising the football and he went and with a magic of television I'm in Brisbane oh, and, and it's like just jumping to the, you're just going to Studio B mate do you yeah. know what I mean just, <laughs> just fucking shit like that and he was um, he, got, he was advertising a, a lawnmower and he's there at a laptop and he was like god I just I ain't got enough time of the day for the, my, my podcast, my sports presenting work, the time with the family. And it's just like cutaways of him having a cup of tea with his wife and, <laughs> you know, working ferociously. That's why I'm so glad for the Lawn Mow 2000 because I know my grass is being mowed. Peace of mind. <laughs> Jimmy, you should do an advert like that. Oh, but my adverts are class. Our adverts are good advert for the podcast. Yeah, what should I advertise? I'd be a whore to anything, me. Is there anything you want to advertise? Um, gym or something? Gym membership or something? You wouldn't? No. Why? Because I'd just get loads of fucking abuse, wouldn't I? No. If I was like, sign up to fucking pure gym. Yeah, you just go... Like, ev- you sign up to no, oh, Yeah, because then you can go, everyone's welcome. I used, I used I to... Feel, I, go on, you do it, Jamie. Yeah. Go on, you do it. Hi. They used to say the gym weren't for me, <laughs> and it's got like, <laughs> you want a treadmill and... <laughs> Why was you doing all that noise? <laughs> it's because it's you're quite overweight, Tony. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, 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 sorry, mate. And you're like, you're self-conscious, <laughs> you're like lifting the dumbbell up from that. And it's like, they said it weren't for me. And then you're like, you're catching eye at the girl on one of them. <laughs> 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 yeah, go on. But now, thanks to Dave's gym. Yeah. The plus size gym. Oh, plus size gym, yeah. Mm. See what I mean? So you advertise that and the whole story is, yeah, the gym's not just for meatheads, it's for the plump as well. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's gym. Would you advertise... Okay, what, what happens what? to the gym if it does well and then you're no longer plump? Do you have to leave the gym? Yeah, you have to leave. Just got to go. No, go got all the fat people on the way out. Go shame, shame, <laughs> <Yeah>. traitor! <laughs> no, you have yeah. to ring a bell. Yeah, like for chemo. It's all just healthy like that. No, because they have um, an excess skin clinic at the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's the excess skin used to make rugs. <laughs> cool rug. That's how you. Uh, that's. I think that's a good idea. Fat Jim. Fat Jim. I would be shocked if they don't exist. Uh, there's got to be ones that are marketed. Be oh, fat must be. cry about and stuff like that. They're just always emotional. Just get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it to yourself, dickheads. <laughs> now that's a motivational speech that I can get behind. Tony, I believe. Uh, oh, Tony Tate. <laughs> 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 Let's get around it. <laughs> Sounds like a local drug dealer or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does <laughs> Tony Tate? Tony. There's an obesity retreat. Oh. Is he? So you go there and they just, oh, they just lock the bridge. Can we film you there? Well, I think, yeah, I think our next special is sorted. Well, send me there. Yeah. <laughs> next I'll, find a, I'll find a way for midnight <laughs> snacks, mate, to tell you. Hey, do you reckon what's your you know, obesity? What's it called? Obesity retreat? Mm. Hey, that weird obesity is horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Probably got, nasty, isn't it? I, I prefer the, the next one up, bariatric. Is that true? Because he just sounds like some northern fella. <laughs> Bariatric's the one up from ob- o- obese. Bariatric. So fat, you're bariatric. You're so fat, you're a different person. All right. It's called Barry. Fucking hell, Bitsy. <laughs> is that true? Is it called bariatric? Yeah. Is that why it's called geriatric? Why do they have names of things? Oh, I don't What's know. geriatric mean? Why are the old, old. Why are the old, old white men's names as well? Barry and Jerry. Yeah. Teriatric. <laughs> Harriatric. I've got bad gout. You're teriatric. I've really. <laughs> got bad gout. <laughs> I feel like gout's making a comeback as well. I know two, two of my mates have got gout right now. A lot of people get gout now. Like, how much pate are you eating? Is that how you go? Pate? Oh, like rich foods. Loads what? of wine and pates and cheese. Rich as in money? Like, no, rich as it. Well, can't, can't, if they get, I think it is a yeah, rich person. You should be a king. Used to be kings. <laughs> kings used to get it. Yeah, it's when people overindulge. Kings by eating in fucking Tesco or whatever. So yeah, what, like what? the overindulging, quite like extravagant foods, like pate. Oh, I had pigeon the other day. 
I feel like that's not as extravagant as you make it out. I feel like you just found the pigeon. Like it's called roadkill. Where yeah, you're I from. hope it was cooked. Nobody's ever got gout feeding a pigeon. I don't no, know. I, posh <laughs> pigeon. Posh pigeon. Yeah. Swan. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I, went, I wasn't from Gorton and the pigeon. No, I went for, went for a posh meal, didn't I? Oh, yeah. It was a yeah. Seared, seared pigeon I had. Was it nice? It's all right, you know. Tastes, tastes like, like chicken. Tastes like duck. More red, like meat, like game. What happens if you just pie and mash? God, oh, I don't like mash, do you? No. Um, but they had purees. They had purees? Yeah, like beetroot puree and all that. Do you like fancy dining? I don't. Do I just have a chibi? No, no, I don't mind. Packet, I, 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 so. I'm trying to, I'm trying to broaden my horizons, uh, food wise. Explore your taste buds, yeah. chibi. So, I got chips to the table just in case. Yeah, you've always got our chips, haven't you? Dipped it in me Jew. In your which? Me Jew. Like red wine Jew. Oh. It's got. What's the most extravagant meal you've had, Jamie, or the most? Pigeon and chips, probably. Pigeon and chips. <laughs> <laughs> Two days ago. <laughs> That's up there. That is up there, isn't it? I had risotto on holiday. Risotto? Mm. I consider anything without chips just <laughs> being a bit fancy, you know. You had a chip butty in a, in a restaurant in Italy, by the way. <laughs> yeah. What about you, you fancy diner? No, I'm, I'm picky, right? But I've yeah. tried to, as you say, broad my horizons a wee bit. And I had I tried an oyster oh. um, a wee while ago when I was in Australia at the start of the year. And then I was steaming one day and they had this plate of deep fried oysters. Because the oyster is a bit like, it, it is a bit like cum. It's kind of like, you know, they would do a DNA test on it or some <laughs> shit. And then, but see, when it was deep fried oyster and I was just knocking them back, it was great. Like, I guess I'm used so, to that. So the shell's deep fried. I think there's not a sh- It's just like It's basically it's batter With some oyster in it I oh, think I'd like them little mushrooms You get on Yeah Oh my god I love them It was very nice Do them button mushrooms Do you only get a sharing platter From like Oh they could be on your Dip fish couldn't they yeah. <laughs> They've made many appearances On Dip fish <laughs> <laughs> So I'm not a dickhead <laughs> So you just liked it Because it was battered I think yeah that really helped and I was battered as well yeah, I was yeah. fucking yeah. <laughs> the oysters are meant to make you horny aren't they are they really yeah did it turn you on aphrodisiac well, the first person who gave me it was a, a lassie that I was dating at the time and I think maybe she was, was I don't know teary or motive was that to make you horny maybe you? was it before you would so she basically like she basically <laughs> roofied you but not roofied you but oh that I don't know if you can count that as roofied Binti got me some oysters at Holiday Inn <laughs> It's <laughs> 2015. <laughs> There's a room up there. That's like. a serious accusation, you know. You saying <laughs> bids ads get you horny? I don't think anyone didn't even deny it. <laughs> um, you're going on tour. You've been on tour. I was. I was. I done a wee mini tour um, to work up for. So I was in Australia starting the year doing shows, and then done a wee tour about the UK um, before I played the Kings Theatre in Glasgow oh. in March. Um, How many seats is that? Like f- 1700 So it was big man it was, Yeah it was For a solo show as well. It was on real And we filmed it And only had one shot obviously So it was like A lot of pressure Oh yeah But I just try to keep a lid on it You know that way you just, you know, This is a cliche You always joke When you do a shite gig You're like Treat it like any other gig Kind of thing But that's I just had to keep a lid on it Just went out Done it Didn't try to get too Big with the ego Just went out Said the jokes Thanks very much See you later we got it on film, so that's coming out very shortly. Exciting. Oh, that's good. And uh, I'm fucking working up my new show now for, for August. But you're doing the fringe. Doing the fringe, so, yeah. yeah you, got che- you can stay at home, I imagine, can't you? Well, I, I have found a place to uh, stay, but it's a lot easier, even if you're in Glasgow, because I just know more people who can yeah, give yeah. us cheap accommodation and shit like that, So, because otherwise it's... A, it's oh, we're just so probably expensive. started. I was going to go up and do... Two weeks work in progress, which is too fucking day to stay. Can't be asked. Yeah. yeah. I'll do free previews and fucking do the tour. Fuck I, off. I remember meeting you, Jamie, I think, at the, the gong show, the comedy store in Manchester. Oh, yeah. Years ago, I'm sure. Was we? we? We'd done that. Just we put in heads. No, I can't remember. I don't think oh, I fucking. Was it? Was I it? probably uh, lost that one. I don't remember. But did you do that a lot? That one? I used to go down. Aye. I used to go down and watch every Sunday just to hang out. Yeah. Um, it was just a good chill because when, when I first started, there's a fucking decent bunch of us Aye. who hung out and hang, hanging out together and stuff like that. 
So we just used to hang out on a Sunday and sometimes get up, sometimes sometimes not. Yeah. Um, my favourite bit of yours, by the way, oh. is I was so fuming. Joe, you when know, you're like, oh my God, that fits in my set like a fucking glove, mate. Oh, yeah. So I did loads on call centres. Oh, really? I did like, that was my, that was my club 20 like, yeah, a couple yeah, of years yeah. ago. It was all on call centres and the comfort break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. went ballistic, didn't it? That done really, that was my first clip, I guess, that done really well online. So I, but it was just, I had this set, I was about, it's like you get five minutes to go oh. to the bathroom and it's like a minute there and a minute back. So you get three minutes to take a shite. Yeah, yeah. And then they're like, why are you late? You're like, get the fuck, man. But <laughs> I just had all this stuff about and how you shouldn't take it out on uh, customer service agents because like, you know, they're complaining about fucking their documents and all that shit and you're like, ah, look, I can't even take a fucking <laughs> <laughs> three minute. I get disciplined oh, for no. taking a four minute shite or whatever. So... I oh no thanks man I, I, I didn't nah, even expect that no nah, nah, yeah, I was like oh you are messing Joe you know, like, I've got twenty minutes on call centres and he's yeah, got yeah. two minutes that's better than all of it oh, <laughs> fuck <off>. nah <laughs> but then, it then no but you think it's though it's like I think back in, like it was more like that before where you'd feel like that but then you could just put that out and it's just different stuff on a similar topic and it's oh yeah yeah I know it's just usable. more of like oh fucking hell beat me to it yeah Aye. beat me to the punch. But um, I know what you mean, because I was in, in that club. Did you work in them for years? Ah, yeah. Yeah, I was just fucking, I was getting sacked and that. Um, <laughs> but that comfort break thing, I remember once, I uh, I went out and got fucking, we used to do like early holidays, Joy Fit was, did you, where did you work? It was E-Sure I worked for. Oh, I worked out at Lions. Actually, because they used to, yeah. see what I used to do was, because uh, I rem- they've, they've I remember got, you doing casual. They've got a Manchester office, and yeah. sometimes I would come down and do the frog, and then the store gong. Or back to back the other way around, and so I would get for the Monday to stay there. I would do a shift in my Manchester office. I would just walk in, and because you're just on the phone, yeah, and you've yeah, got yeah. the same login system, and everyone would be like, "Who the fuck is this cunt?" But <laughs> that's some just, double that he's showing the frog. <laughs> 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 that is literally what I used to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when people got like certain desks, that no? Like, no, you well, just if, if people are part time, and there's always yeah, kind of like, yeah. I always a spare one, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's always a spare one. I'm just sitting in fucking Janet's desk, and she's like, "Who the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> but because it, it was like, I was like, "Can I just go and do this?" And they were like, aye, but they were like, nobody's ever actually asked <laughs> to yeah, do this yeah, before. Yeah. Why would you? Or they're like, unless you were fucking travelling about that time. But no, I used to do that a lot, man. Yeah, because obviously, because I worked in car insurance as well. Aye. I just used to. Sh- you should have fucking known better with your brother, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just used to swap uh, Saturdays because I weren't getting a lot of Saturday gigs at that time. So I just, I, I'll work your Saturday if you can have my Tuesday off. Yeah. Why? Well, I'm going to Newcastle for Red Raw. What? Just let me have it off. Do you know what I mean? So you're you're just getting the you get the rough end of the deal work wise. You're just doing it for stand up. Yeah. Um, I remember once because we I don't know if you used to this. I worked at Diet Line, mm-hmm. and say if it was quiet on the phones, they'd have a lottery to see if you could go home early and use and and you bank up the time when it's busy. Yeah. So I went home. At, me and my mate won, and we got to go on the piss all day, fucking buzzing. <laughs> For four hours on a Sunday, but I had a night out on Saturday. Just come straight from a gaff, fucking beat up, absolute magic. I'm twatted. <laughs> Turn up, it's only four hours, it's only four hours. I did one call, couldn't speak, couldn't get like, draw the next page. I would like repeating the same question and do asking John motor legal protection, and yeah. <laughs> um, that covers you up to £100,000. And there's also motor legal protection. That comes up to hundred five, and just same same can't thing. can't get out of the, can't get through it. Just too fucked, right. um, and use three hours forty five for comfort break. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Just fucking zoned out. Fuck. I sake, thought man. I just thought I'll deal that. I'll deal with that on Monday. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like it's a Monday job, because my team were in. You see, so I had no manager bollocking me. Just yeah. me on my own, like hoodie and that sunglasses on. Absolute <laughs> rat. What did the they car. do when you? Came on a Monday. I just went. I went well, and I, I just took it. I was like, "What? Well, nah, I'm just, I'm check the sales board. Aye, they're a bunch of cunts, man. Check the sales board. Yeah. Who's number eight? <laughs> 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 I just sat over mid table, mate. Get, get to like get, you're in the top ten, you can get away with murder. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. I'm like fucking Brentford got safe, Sam. One of my beach. mates said. Davies name was he he's he done stand up for a bit weirdly and all, but he got employed and he used to be in my team. And how unlucky is this, right? He was uh, on the phone to some woman who's been really rude and then 
so he thinks the call's ended and he goes, fucking silly woman. And that woman worked for Isha and she was like a higher up. So she fucking like got them to listen to call that shit get sacked. And they bother, but it was like, you don't want to be money for like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how fucking unlucky for that bit of person as well. I um, I did a job selling payment rolls, uh, payment solutions for rich cunts. Uh-huh. Um, so basically, people who come in as a project manager for six months somewhere, getting like eight hundred quid a day, and we just do the payroll for them. And they're just all fucking smug cunts. So I mean, trying to get every fucking penny out of you and that. Um, and this guy's just been dead awkward, just asking, what if this happens, what if that happens? I'm like, mate, I don't know. Just let me get <laughs> fucking through it. If it happens, we'll deal with it. It's not, don't ask me questions. Do you know what I mean? Just get me get to the end of the call. And he just kept on interrupts. You're know, asking like, really fucking low percentage stuff. Like, it's never going to happen. Yeah. Um, finally got to the end of the call. And he went, I'm not going ahead with you. What speaks to one of your colleagues? But it's like a five for a sale. I'm like, fucking prick. So I've, Slam the phone down. Yeah. God, I was, it was literally I sat on the fucking thing. I yeah. weren't even headphones. Yeah. I was going, you fucking prick, but missed the hook. <laughs> oh. So he heard me, and he messaged my the CEO on LinkedIn. Fuck's sake! Yeah, and the CEO made me manage to listen to it. How I got away with it? Cause that's right at the end of the call. So there's a period of silence. Yeah, and then a spike. <laughs> fucking prick. So my manager pulls me in to listen to the call and it's just me being rude to him all the way through the call. So she <laughs> thinks that's what's it. And then at the end, I go, right, I've heard enough. I've heard enough. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, so I just went, yeah, I know, I, know, I admit. I, I was, right, I, I've heard enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I went, yeah, I was, I was in a bad mood and all that. Just apologise because at least you didn't hear me call him a fucking prick. Yeah, yeah. And you never put that in the email? You know, he's just like your staff was rude to me and bad call and all this stuff. But because there was just an enough of a, a gap of your fucking prick. Um, but imagine that, grad taking the CEO, mate. It's like emailing Binty if someone's died. Why are you just going to die? No, died on stage. Oh. I just open spot died. And, and so went. went. Okay, audience went went to use shit. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have been, lad. Well, some people get reviews, don't they? No. Um, so your special's coming out? Special coming out. When's that? Should be July. Uh, one, try to get out for Fringe. We've finished the first uh, we edit on it. You know, so it should be, probably, maybe about by the time, I don't know, when that's going to uh, This is out in... To... Yeah. The future. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. No, I don't know the schedule it's anymore. Uh, it'll be very shortly. Um, this week on, on YouTube. Week. Last, so next, next week. Next Saturday. Next Saturday, Saturday yeah, so yeah. yes, go and get on that, Max. Fucking mint, mate. Go and see me at the Fringe if you're up at the Fringe. Are you Please doing do. another tour in the autumn? Uh, no, getting planned at the moment. I'm actually at Hot Water though in 9th of uh, November. So if anyone wants to come Feel see like me, solo show. I'm doing solo show, yes. so probably the new show. And uh, if anyone wants to come see Zale, sweet. Get tickets. Put links to all that in the episode. Um, second Hot Water Day, uh, 19th, 19th of November. Please buy tickets to that. And the last Frog and Bucket Day on the 14th of November. Please buy tickets to that. Oh, and our live show has already been. So thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> and Tony Cadillac <laughs> Friends, um, Hot Water Comedy on the 18th of July, Tuesday, the 18th of July. Last one was a sellout. Last three have been sellout. So make sure you get your tickets. And it was fantastic last night. Yeah. Sweet. Um... Crip sessions, crisp sessions. No. <laughs> yes. No. Crip sessions. Right. Sack them. <laughs> Sack them. No, not having this. What happened to loyalty? I mate? didn't even plug my fucking other. Uh, my oh, oh, yeah, sorry, I, yeah. I didn't even what I did. Mine never. Oh, some you know, his other one without me. <laughs> I know. Oh. Some laugh, of course. <laughs> Aye, some laugh podcast, which is we're actually probably going to be releasing my special on uh, some laugh YouTube channel. So check out the pod and uh, the very know. funny pods. Um, uh, Stephen Buchanan and Stuart McPherson. Stuart McPherson yeah. uh, very good pod. I'm going to jump on that when I'm Jim's next. Gonna... When I'm next up north, mate. Everything? Anything else? What more do you fucking want from me? And remember, lads, 
Scrape that cum out your rug. You never know when it'll come back to bite you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. 